Unfortunately, it is against the law to go in cemeteries after dark in Salem. What's wrong with the microphone? What is that? Is that an orb? We're Michael and Holoff. World travelers. Oh my God. Avid scuba divers. And food lovers. <laughs> we quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German shepherd named Kana, and now the three of us continue on with our full-time travel around North America in our home on wheels. Previously, we explored the food scene in Salem, Massachusetts. They say that the witches use it in their ceremonies. The pork is probably the best I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Go we'll try it. Yeah, I will. Michael's making breakfast. It's me making sort of egg and cheese biscuit, or egg and cheese bun. And a ham. We'll do ham as well. I sure wish I had a toaster. This is Winter Island Campground. This is where we're staying when we're in Salem. And you can't see it right now, but we've got full electrical hookups behind the van. So there's a dump station just outside the park at the community uh, sewage station that we can go use. So we're happy about that because we need to unload our loads. And it's really close to the city center, which is awesome. And it's only $42 a night, which is even more awesome. And the view from the Winter Island is spectacular. Our campground actually overlooked this waterfront. It's amazing. Right, Carla? Today, we're starting out very late. In fact, we're waiting for night to fall for a very good reason. Well, we're going on a ghost tour tonight, so we were just on our way to the meeting area. We passed by this place called Knott's Brewery, and of course, I can't pass by a microbrewery without giving something a try, so I'm taking the Pale Ale IPA. It's kind of a hazy IPA. Not very hot forward, but really delicious. And Holof has the, it's a regular pale ale. It's got a little bit of a fruity finish to it. And that's pretty good too. Yeah. So we're gonna finish these up, then head over to do our ghost tour. So we can like explore Salem in the dark. Yeah, we're going on a tour with a company called Spellbound Tours. They invited us to come along tonight. We're hoping to see some orbs and ectoplasms and things like that. Salem is supposed to be one of the most haunted places in the United States. And I just think I spit. But whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna see some paranormal activities around Salem tonight. Spooky, Spooky and even Kana is invited to join us yeah, today. Yeah, scare the crap out of this dog. Tonight. Oh my God! Thank you to Destination Salem for arranging all this for us today. Are you scared? That's right. <laughs> you better be. I am shivering with anticipation. This is Dr. Vitka, a Salem local and a professional paranormal investigator, as well as a dog lover and our tour guide for tonight. You're official. I'm official. So we're about to get started. And first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Cats and dogs really seem to have a sixth sense about when the spirits are around. So if she starts acting, you know, stranger than usual, take some pictures <laughs> and do some research because she might be seeing something before we do. Okay, that's the start of our ghost tour tonight. Some big group tonight, but here we go. We're gonna see a ghost tonight. A little bit so we can make some room. Now you may want to take a quick photograph here of the tombstones. And if you do, you might end up with more than just Nothing yet, nothing yet. Nothing yet, nothing yet. It's our first stop. Oh, well, could be. For the next hour, we learned about Salem and its sinister dark history surrounding the infamous witch trials through interesting stories. Right? The problem is, these girls were bored. So coasters are obviously very popular here in Salem. And I think we were told there's actually 15 different tours around here. Spellbound Tours is the largest one, so glad to be part of it. <laughs> we just found out we're walking on an area where a man named Giles Corey was pressed to death. Mike has a lot of really cool stories about Salem. I think most of them are accurate. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I think it's based on the uh, historical findings. It's interesting, either way. Another ghost tour. A lot of ghost tours. It's the only people in Salem right now, people doing ghost tours. <laughs> 
a lot of people love Hocus Pocus. Do you recognize what this building is? This is the old town hall. This is where they built the big Halloween party in Hocus Pocus. You can see the exterior of the building in the movie. And up on the second floor, they made it look like where Bette Midler sang, I put a spell on you. Over loved to do. He got rid of all the crime in this kingdom by executing all the criminals. His favorite. Method. Salem at night is an interesting place for sure. There's definitely a darker side to this town. Let's go to the cemetery. Yes. It is against the law to go in cemeteries after dark in Salem. We're at one of the cemeteries here in Salem. And this is where some of the people from the time are buried. We're looking for orbs or ectoplasms and things like that. We're not seeing anything, but that's just because I'm unlucky and I don't get to see stuff like that. What's behind you? Operation. This is trash can. Oh. <laughs> Now, we typically don't really believe in any of that paranormal activity stuff, but this happened next. What's wrong with the microphone? Our microphone started to buzz with a high-pitched hum. And also we got this footage that would make any ghost hunter excited. Wait a minute. What is that? Is that an orb? We still don't know what happened. And we left the cemetery area and continued on with our tour. Is the most haunted home in Salem. It's built on the foundation of Sheriff Corwin's home. And thank you for joining us. I thought it was a pretty interesting evening with the Spellbound Tours. Yeah, you know what? If, even if you don't believe in ghosts and things like that, which I don't, it's always an interesting evening when you take a tour with a local because yes. even if you don't believe in the subject matter, they do give a lot of historical background of places like Salem, which I really appreciate because I enjoy it. And so we visited also a few places that we haven't seen before, learned yeah. a lot of things, especially the witch trial. And we got a few names now we can look up. <laughs> but he showed us a couple photos towards the end and it's pretty convincing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's awesome. We're going to put the link down below if you're interested in doing some ghost tours here in Salem. Definitely give Spellbound Tours yes. a check out. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Stay. Kana. Kana. Well, we really didn't film our conclusion last night because it was getting late, so we decided to do this today. We really enjoyed Salem. That ghost tour last night was a lot of fun. We learned so much about uh, witchcraft and the Salem witch mm. trials. If you're in Boston area, definitely check out Salem because it's not really far away from Boston. Yeah, yeah. and there's and you can just park anywhere here. The parking, by the way, is really super cheap. A buck fifty an hour you can find uh, on the streets, in the lots. Just come here. Don't worry about the parking, it's cheap. Thank you to Spellbound Ghost Tours. And just thank you to everybody for being such great hosts here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to our travels and follow us around the nation, press that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the bell. Ding! Thank you very much for watching and thank you to Destination Salem. Thank you for watching, guys. All right. Now last or last for least last but not least. Yeah.